Hello everyone, and welcome back to MC Eternal. As you can see, we are in the single player world. Now, this episode, I have two plans. The first plan is, I would like to go and set up a dragon egg mill. Now, what this does is, I believe I place a dragon egg on top, um, and it will give me 500 grid power. And it will do that 24-7. So, grid power is uh, extra utilities energy, and it works really different to every other uh, energy mod. Uh, currently, our grid power is coming from uh, solar panels in the overworld. So I'll go and show you this, just so that you can have a little bit of a context as to what we're doing and how it all works. Um, so if we actually come over here, uh, these solar panels actually give us grid power. So each of these, and the more that we have, the less efficient they are. So it kind of encourages you to make different types of uh, power sources, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm a fan of it. Um, but obviously at nighttime, these don't work. So we need something that will get us by, not only during the day, but also at night. Now, the other thing I want to do is, I've heard, word on the street, is another possible solution <laughs> to get the uh, the wireless stuff working, uh, to, to get these uh, things working. Now, what I heard was to get dense energy cells. And I, I heard people say at least two, at least two per ring, and have them fully charged and see if that works, because apparently these guys need quite a hefty uh, amount of power. Um, th that's what I've heard, and I've heard they, they also don't have much of a capacity, so it's good to have these uh, batteries, or not these, but the upgraded ones of these. So we're actually going to try and uh, get those. So we need, oh, the, the quantum rings actually use one, um, but we want these dense energy cells, so let's bookmark it. Um, and we might actually be able to just add this as a recipe. This might be a really easy fix. Um, Let's search, or we can just click this here. Because I think, hmm, do we have the energy cells auto-crafted? I feel like we do. All right, let's head over here to our uh, lamp that's off. Honestly, I'm a big fan of uh, setting up a lamp system for uh, the way that we have these set up. It, these are all full. Oh, actually, this isn't full. You know what, let's, um, I didn't realize that wasn't full. Hmm, I wonder what used to be there. But, but the whole point of the lamps was that, like, these are completely full, right? And so, we have the lamp on. We know when we get an extra recipe, not to even bother checking these. We just come over to these ones, and it works really well. Um, so, we should now be able to just search for energy. Then we should see the dense energy cell once the, uh, once the network wakes up again. Here we go. Dense energy cell. Um, now, I want four. Are we able to do that? No. Um, it's actually no because of the nether quartz. Okay. That's uh, not too bad. Now, nether quartz. That seems to be an issue that we keep having. Um, so we might have to set up a, a plant for this. Um, because I don't think there's another way to get it somewhat legitimately other than mining. And although that's a good thing that we could do, it's also... Hmm, I, I guess maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. It's hard to decide when, when to use the plants and when not to, because the plants are extremely overpowered, in my opinion. Because um, it just takes care of the issue altogether, as opposed to needing to set up a quarry and power for the quarry and all of those sorts of things. You just put a plant, and you're done. Um, so it's hard to decide whether it's something I want to do. I'm thinking we might as well. Because currently we have um, Surtis Quartz and... Um, Luix, which are, um, farmed, and I guess that's, that, you know, those ones are pretty difficult to get as it is, so it's kind of cheaty doing that. You know, sh should we just do it? Let's search quartz. Um, we might already have the seeds. Yeah, we, we do have the seeds, we just don't have them set up. These are three, so these are actually, some of them are pretty upgraded. Um, we'll set up a little farm using the seeds. Um, and the reason why we'll set up a little farm is because, um... It's going to get us a lot because they're upgraded. And another thing we need to check is if we search quartz, um, we want to add the recipe so that we don't have to come back and do this later. So grab the recipe for that. And we'll go chuck it in here. And boom. Perfect. All right. Now we can go and do our thing, which is setting up a farm. Um, all we need is the stuff to go back into our network. So oh, there's a roof here, but the glass is so clear I did not know. Um, now over here we have some stuff. What do we have over here? Here we have the titanium. Now, this is just going right into our network. So, it's not really a problem. You know what I mean? Like, we can get away with 
putting these seeds amongst these seeds, and I don't think it's an issue. Um, all we really need are the crop sticks. Um, so let's search crop sticks. We'll just, we'll just grab a stack. We probably won't use the whole stack. And why do we have a wireless connector on us? Oh yeah, and we had all those places to try and uh, fix the issue. This should be fine. Um, so, so once again, it, it seems to be like a tradition. We'll try and fix the wireless uh, applied logistics stuff. And then um, when that inevitably doesn't work, we'll, uh, we'll get the dragon egg mill done. So that we can at least have something happen this episode. Place this here. This here. Place this here. Place this here. And that should be good. Um, yeah. So I guess we just got to wait for these to grow. Or I can pull out my uh, trusty steed. Seeing this. You can have this uh, speed it up. So once again, to get these uh, seeds to spread, they need to be fully grown, and then they spread. So I think that's a problem. Some of these titanium ones are spreading a bit, whereas we want the nether quartz to, uh, to spread to these other crop sticks. Yeah, okay, we've got one here. This one might be nether quartz, hopefully. But once again, we don't need too many, so we don't have to worry too much. We just need them to be you know, harvested eventually. Um, boom, 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 boom. I just want to have some of them spread. Uh, that looks like a good amount. Um, and we actually get quite a lot of nether quartz from the single, um, uh, we'll just, we'll just say, from the single harvest, or not harvest, from the craft. So like crafting these gives me like 12 nether quartz or something. Um, maybe even more. So it's pretty broken, even when you have the most basic setup with just a few of them. Um, so what we want is the dense energy cells. And because we added the recipe, we should just be able to craft all these. Yep. We can craft it all. We can click craft. And we can watch it happen in here. Now, these ones, not sure what's going on here. It says they're scheduled. But it's just not making them. So I'm not sure where things are getting lost. Um, we can watch this recipe take place, though. It's pretty cool. Look at all the uh, flux crystals getting crafted. Look at how quick they go. Very cool. Um, the flux dust, how much does it need? Um, where is it? 100? <laughs> it might not actually take too long, because we do have a um, an elite crushing factory, I'm pretty sure. That does like uh, 6 or 7 at once. So it's not too bad. Um, the glass. The processes. It's not too bad. Not too bad of a recipe. Uh, or, or at least not too bad of a um, process to get the recipe made. Um, we'll wait for this to all happen. I wish there was a better visual in terms of watching it get crafted. You know what I mean? Like, I wish there could be, like, maybe a, a screen you could watch, and it will show your crafting recipe and, like, I don't know, have a fancy little animation or something. <laughs> I don't know what they'd do. Is this pure that it's making? Ooh. The pure takes a while, I think. Hmm. Yeah, the pure takes a while, so we're probably going to have to go and speed that up. Um... <laughs> Look, it's just okay. Let's um, let's go speed that up. So the pew is actually over here. Let's um, also put the ring away. Boom, put that away. We can put the crop sticks in here too. We tend to use those quite often. Um, so I think the pew is happening in here, and as you can see, that is going to take an insane amount of time. So let's just um, maybe hit him with one of those. Um, even with the power drained here, it's going way faster. In fact, I think I can place this. <laughs> there we go. That's a solution. We're literally just waiting on the machine to take out the, uh, the product. That is ridiculous. Okay. Um, is that everything? Is that the last bit we're waiting on? It is. As these are getting put back in the system, these are getting made, which allows these to get made. And bingo bango. Um, the reason I didn't think power was an issue to begin with, if we just want to like uh, run back on that whole situation, it's because we had the flux points um, set up. In fact, I think I have them in my network, don't I? Um, yeah, oh, so good. So glad that I did that. This little backpack is genius. We should have done backpacks a long time ago. We, we did, but we didn't really utilize them. You know what I mean? We can actually put these away. I'll hold on to the smart ones because I'll probably need them. We can put some speed upgrades, some entanglements in there. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. Um, how much has this got? It should be done. Let's um, search for our dents. We should have four in here. Uh... <laughs> It's just going to craft four of these. And it says crafting. And yet it's not. What is going on? Head down here. Maybe is the crafting 
that it's going to use in use. Where did I put it? Did I put it in here? I put it in here. There's four in here. Huh. Get a load of that. How does that work? Hmm. Interesting. Isn't that strange? So there's four in here. Why aren't they getting put back into the system, though? They crafted the four. Does this happen with any of the other ones? Look in here. There's some energy cells in here. How strange. Is that not strange? Four in here. It's like the channels have been used up here. This guy uses only four channels, so it says, hmm, four channels. That doesn't make sense. Do I need to hook these guys up to the... No, that wouldn't make sense. Would it? Did that need to happen? I don't think it would. No, it doesn't look like it needs to happen. Hmm. I feel like we're having issue after issue, and they're, they're really random. Like, I don't know... I don't know what this means. Why isn't this just going back into the system? How many um, channels do we actually have here? Um, let's make sure. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight being this. Um, very weird. What happens if I remove this? Oh. If I remove that, does something happen? I don't think it does. I don't think anything happens. This is very strange. I, once again, I don't know the the solution. Has this happened in any of these guys? Yeah, there's some flux crystals in here. Hmm. Perhaps I need to um set up some pipes. Um, let's open our backpack and grab some item cables. Um, we don't have item cables apparently. Apparently, we are all out. So I'll make some. Um, let's search. Item conduit is what I meant to say. Ooh, that's not how you spell item. <laughs> conduit. Here we go. Like this. Um, I'm going to put this into crafting mode. Item ooh, conduit. Almost spelled it wrong again. Bam, bam. I need to make some pulsating ingots. Boom, boom. Did that work? Yep, boom. And we'll craft 56 of them apparently. That is nice. Okay, so... Uh, my new possible solution is we can put this guy back. That's fine. Um, and then what if we go ahead and place conduits here? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, let's disconnect this. What if I extract and insert? Will that take the four out of there and put them in the other one? <laughs> no, I don't know if that will do anything, but okay, it did it. And now the four in here. And we don't really get anything from that, do we? <laughs> okay. Turn off insert. What if... How would we do this? Extract everything. And then put it onto the storage bus? Maybe? No, I think that's a filter. Um... Extract from here. Extract from everything. Let's actually pull apart this. And we'll get like a an import bus that imports into the network. Um, so what are they called? Are they called import buses? I think they are. Let's get an import bus. We're gonna need a sticky piston apparently. So we can make some. Boom. Uh, import bus, perfect. Um, and then what do I do? Do I place it here? That didn't really work, did it? Um, okay. We can pull this apart and place a crate here. I think that's the solution. I think we've we've sort of figured out what to do. It's just a little bit of an annoying process to do it all. Um, if I place a crate here and we have insert here and insert here, we should get the dense cubes in here. Yep. And then... They should actually get imported into our system, which they are. Okay, that's the solution. There you go. 
Now, the only issue with this is that the import bus is another channel. Now, with that being said, have a look here. It, this guy says it's only using five. I don't think it's a problem. I feel like we can get away with having like this stuff attached. Right? I think so. I, I want to see if we can. Um, so in one of these, which guy was it? Um, in this guy, we have some Flux crystals. In fact, didn't... Didn't one of them have the normal dense cubes in them? And I was like, oh, that shouldn't be there. It must be over there. Okay, well, anyway, we'll, we'll set it up on all of these. So basically, we place a crate here. We place a item conduit on each side. Th this is our little ghetto, um, our DIY, do it ourself um, setup. Do this, this, do this, this. That should work. That should take the, the Flux Crystal out, right? Yep, Flux Crystal in there, perfect. And then all I've got to do is set up a import bus. We're going to have to make some more. Um, which means we actually need some more cores, I think. Um, import bus. We don't have uh, an Annihilation core? Can we make an Annihilation core? What are we missing? The Fluix dust, okay. Um, we should actually add the recipe for these Annihilation cores. Because... Oh, I think it's two ends. Annihilation. Um, we can craft them. I think we just need to have them kept. And what's the other one? Formation core? I think it's called? Yeah, formation core. I'm going to ask for these two. And we're going to try and keep 10 all at once. So we'll put those in one of the order crafting things. Okay. We're, we're slowly but surely getting there. Let's, um... I guess while this is getting done, um, because I, I assume it'll take a little while to uh, craft all those things, let's set this up and see just how well it works. So, um, I'm going to disconnect these. I'm going to mine this guy. And... The energy cell away. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the dense energy cells under here. Right? These hold a lot. Okay, so they're actually getting charged up from this network. So I don't think it matters on this side. But with that being said, I'm still going to hook this up. Um, with energy connectors on each side. So I'm actually going to have to make another energy acceptor. Energy acceptor. We're going to have to make a few of these, I think. So, we're going to need pure Fluix or just normal Fluix and Quartz Glass. So, Quartz Glass. Where are we? Quartz Glass. Fast for like 20 of that. It'll get it done. Beautiful. Um, and the Fluix as well. We can click this. We can ask for like 100. And it'll, it'll just craft 100. Why not? Energy Acceptor. Also, bookmark this. Bam. Almost, really? We, we're waiting on the... The Fluix? The Fluix should be the quickest craft. Um, I guess while we're waiting on that, we can try and hook this up. What bus? Actually, wait, no. Core. Alright, we have the 10 of each. I'm going to grab the 10 of each of these. Oh, oh no, what? Yeah, okay, grab the 10 of each of these. And we're going to place them in... Uh, not in this guy. In one of these. So, yeah, they can go in here. Place the 10 there. Place the 10 there. And that should be good. They should do the thing. Um, now we can put these away. We can search for our import bus. Um, click auto craft on these. Okay. Get our smart cables. So how are we going to hook this up? I suppose... Um, hmm. I think we can get away with doing this. And then we can do that. Or we can make it look a little bit more symmetrical. And this should be empty of Flux Crystals in a second. Did that get taken out? Yeah, I think they're getting taken out. That's also why they didn't show up, because we have this new setup. Um, so this setup, it's not as efficient as it working normally. But the problem is, our machines don't work normally, for whatever reason. Th this sometimes keeps things in the system. Now... The issue could be as simple as maybe we didn't have enough storage. But last time I checked... Oh, no, I think that was actually just the issue. Oh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> How embarrassing is that? I, I just tried to set up all this stuff when the issue was just... Oh, my God. That's embarrassing.
Um, storage. Grab these. Uh, you know what? Let's make a, a big one as well. Let's uh, ask for one of those. It'll probably take a while, but... Alright. Um, boom. Uh, I think we can literally get rid of the stuff we just set up. Because I don't think it... Like, this stuff works? Actually, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. So, I thought the issue was that we didn't have enough room. Right? But that wouldn't make sense. These still wouldn't input into the storage if we didn't have enough room. Like, right now, they wouldn't be going anywhere. Right? So, this solution does still work. Because there was still an issue? Does that make sense? Because if it was full, this solution shouldn't work. So clearly it's a different issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel comfortable with what we're doing. Um, over here. Um, here's where these energy cells were. Now they're not in here. Maybe it does work. <laughs> Honestly, no idea what's going on. No idea. What's over here? Storage stuff. Quantum links. All right. So I think the quantum rings, um, quantum ring, we needed, what, 16 of this? It probably won't let us craft it, yeah, because we have too many things going on at the moment. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. This thing's fine. Um, we need one, two... Oh, we need more quartz glass. Quartz glass. Um, ooh. We only need, what, three quartz glass? Quartz glass, one, two, three. Can we do that? No, we don't have the technology. Actually, it's all available, so we can actually just craft it ourselves. Um... Yeah, boom. Four. And then we can get this guy. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Energy cells, dense energy cells, um, cables, and flux points. Okay. So now this energy acceptor will go here. That should keep them all filled up. These should be filled up. Perfect. Powering the system. Beautiful. Next thing next, <laughs> we're going to head into the other dimension. Right after this, so it might be a little bit long, maybe like 30 minute episode. Go and try and set up the dragon mill. Because I don't think it will take too long, but it will be really cool to set up. Um, Alright, let's uh, pull apart this whole system. Um, so let's now... That can actually stay there. This guy won't stay there, though. Oh. This guy will get picked up. And it will be replaced with this and this. And we will set up an energy acceptor here. And a flux point here. Um, actually, pick up this flux point. Place the, um, oh, they don't stack. <laughs> Place this guy. Okay, boom. This guy's getting charged. This guy's getting charged. The network has plenty of power all going into the system. That's not the solution. Because as you can see, we still don't see the, um, the 10,000 rubber, the 60,000 stone. Um, but it was, a, it was an attempt. It was an attempt. Um, we can definitely try, you know, turning the system off and on. Maybe giving it that jump start. Maybe now it will work. Maybe that's all it needed. Maybe. If we're really optimistic. So I'll do this one last try. <laughs> and then we'll come back next episode with another solution, right? Be the theme of these uh, videos now. We disconnect this. Reconnect this. Okay. Uh, let's pretend it all works now. Head in here. Head over here. Turns on. Doesn't even work now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll try this one, maybe. Boom. No, it's a international global mystery, even to this day. Alright. Um, Dragon Mill. We're actually pretty close to being able to just craft it as is. Um, I don't know why this doesn't... Maybe that's a key information that we need to keep track of. I really would love this to work. You know? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's really what I would love. It just worked. But it really... It's so can, like persistent. It's like, no, we don't work. We're, we're never going to work. We never work. Um, now if we had infinity boosters, this is our other solution. If we automate these, um, then we can actually set this up. And honestly, this stuff is automatable. That might have to be our solution. It's kind of a cheaty solution, but 
I guess it would work. Okay, um, I guess let's head into this dimension. Let's uh, see if we can make this uh, dragon mill. Boom, boom. All right, dragon mill. Now, where are we at? What do we have? We have almost everything. We need the two middle bits. So we need this guy, which is some redstone torches around a block of wood, or just a, a wooden plank, which apparently we don't have a lot of. Um, we also need an eye of redstone, so ender pearl, resonating crystal, Ooh, which we don't have. Now, we might have it, and it might just be in like the other network, um, which is kind of what I'm thinking would be the issue. Oh, oh. Um, bookmark this. I keep clicking the wrong thing, that's why. Um, should be able to make one of these. Search um, cutting tool. Here we go. Is that not what? Nether quartz cutting knife? Was that not the bit we needed? No, we need a glass cutter. Okay. Cool. Or why not? Um, grab this, grab this, grab this. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. Grab this, do this. Uh, redstone, I think we need to craft more of. Um, let's get this out. Boom. I think the redstone might be in that other dimension as well. I think that's probably what happened. That's why we're having like a little bit of an issue. All right, get this. Perfect. I'll craft as many as I can. 32 apparently is the lucky number. And now we have this eye, which means we can now get the dragon egg mill. Perfect. Yeah. Now to get the um the dragon egg, I've heard you can do it with a piston. I've heard you can do it with a torch. So I guess we'll try with a lot of those things. Um, let's get a piston. We have a lever, a lever, so we should be able to do that. Um, and then we can dump some of this stuff away. Okay. Shall we give this a try? I think we should. Um, where is our, this guy? Boom. We should be able to go to the end portal. Okay. Let's head on in. And our jetpack off. In we go. Now where is the portal? Portal, I believe, is this away. Yep, here's the portal. Here's the egg. Um, okay. How are we going to do this? Oh. I guess that works. I can just right click it. Um, what is that? Oh, that's my path, I think. Um, where'd the egg go? Did we go over here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I just... Did I just, <laughs> Did I just mess up? I don't think it normally teleports that far, does it? So the fact that I can't see it, I saw it go this direction, as in like um this way. Um. Mm. <laughs> Is that it right there? So it didn't go that direction. It's right here. Oh. Okay. 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 You know what? At least we have it. So I believe I just do this. Oh. Yes. Yes, the egg. And then we can, yeah, just go back through. Okay, here we go. We have the dragon egg mill. We have the dragon egg. Um, let's uh, check it in this other dimension. Sure. I want to start placing things in this dimension to, you know, make it the new one. We should be able to just place this here. Place this on top. And there we go. It's generating 500 power. It's not too exciting, but it also kind of is because now, you know, we don't we're not relying on the on the solar panels. Um, now I'm really curious what what could be like. like I every, in between episodes, I've been searching for new solutions. I always find one that like might be the solution, and then I go and give it a try. See, this guy's using 430 RF a tick. That's not how much it should cost to have things go through dimensions. You know what I mean? But it's almost like the power's not going in. I'm pretty sure this is how they have it set up. I'm, I'm going to have to watch a lot more t uh, tutorials on this. Um, you know what we can try, though? Let's, let's see how this goes. Because this might... Um, it might work well. It might not work well. Let's um, head into this place. We're going to try and automate those infinity boosters. That will, I think, make our job easy as well. Let's search um, infinity. We want to auto craft these. Now, I think all these pieces we're auto crafting already. So it should actually be doable. 
I think we have unlimited of most of the resources. I think the only bit we're sort of waiting on is... um. Oh, uh, we need to put this in. This in here. Then over here... Wait, no. Wait. I'm a bit confused. Um, We need to search infinity. How many do we want to keep at once? We probably keep like... Uh, 10, do you think? Oh, it auto-consumed them. Ah. Uh, didn't it? Yeah, it auto-consumed them. Um, click this. Uh, not consuming. Okay. Infinity. Infinite. Let's get... Well, let's see if we can make 32. I don't... Okay, so we need, oh, we need a lot of essence for this. Um, so let's search infinity. We'll just do 10 then. Keep 10 at once. That should be fine. Um, and we'll just see how this works. Because what this does is it allows us to use our tool from anywhere, right? Um, and I feel like that does two things. One thing is it makes the, um, the quantum gate somewhat useless. I guess it's still good in terms of, uh, if we want to hook up automation for ME, for our ME network in a different dimension. Um... And, and then have, like, uh, the auto-crafting capable, like, to be placed in different dimensions. Because at the moment, we could automate stuff in other dimensions and then use an ender chest to send it back. Um, I'm not too sure. Not too sure at all. Um, obviously, I would like the quantum bridge to work, but clearly it's not really wanting to. Generates infinite RF. Might have to check out those. Are these things, like... Oh, creative only. Okay. That's some creative only stuff. A lot of this stuff looks like creative only stuff. What is this? Infinity dust. Looks crazy. <laughs> Dank nulls. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. It's almost done. It's it's actually crafting things. Um, It seems to be making a lot of the pure things. So I might actually go and uh, speed that up again. Because as you remember last time, that uh, was quite a slow process. Um, So let's go over here. Grab our time and bottle. And just help this guy along. And open him up. Put this in. And that will take <laughs> completely take care of that issue. Um, because if we can automate these and it's not too bad, then at least we can start making things in the other dimension. And that's the main thing I want to do, because the other dimension isn't as laggy. So it's a lot better uh, for content. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, we've got three, um, four... I want the 10. I'm a stickler. <laughs> I want the 10. I'm going to put the 10 in the... um. Because you know what might have happened? The system might have... Ne no, well, we've seen it work. I was going to say the system might have never worked. And we just like accessed it using uh, infinity energy. But I don't think so. I th I'm pretty sure it worked. Alright, so do we have the 10? We have the 10. It shouldn't get absorbed. So we have the 10. Here we go. Let's go auto craft it. And keep it maintained. So now it will try to keep 10 of these. I should also be able to then open up this guy. I can manually put them in. It says infinity energy low. And we've already absorbed quite a lot. I think if I click this, it will absorb it. And it still says low. Now, now the problem is this says infinity energy low. But I don't actually know how to see the infinity. That's my problem. Um, okay. So this all seems fine. This system here... I still do not understand why it doesn't work. If I hover over this guy, he's only using two channels. Um, being connected to the controller. Part of me is thinking, I don't know, maybe the controller needs to be bigger or something. Because look, if I hover over on this, it's at just under 4,000 RF out of 16. So it's like it needs more power. Or it's like, this is draining so much power. Yeah. You think that's what's happening? They have different amounts of power. Hmm. How much has this guy got? This guy has 16 out of 16. So it's this bottom guy struggling. And is the bottom guy... No. This guy's the one that's... No, wait. What's attached to this? It is the bottom guy. So the bottom... No. no this guy's attached to the middle. Yeah, this guy's attached to the middle, or, you know, th this one here. And this one's saying it's fine. 
Like, I don't think the power's an issue. What we could do, if we want to just make sure, is just slap one of these here. Put them on network one. Disable limit. Unclose. See if that works. This doesn't connect, does it? Nope. But yeah, once again, any suggestions for this would be very much appreciated. Um, we did quite a bit of automating, though. We got the uh, the dense energy cell set up. We've fixed an overflow issue. Um, we can speed these up with um, speed upgrades, obviously, if we needed to. Um, I think the speed upgrade actually has to go in here. Acceleration cards, which I think we can actually do quite easily. Yeah, we have quite a lot, so we might as well. Um, that way, if we get a bunch of uh, like uh, Fluix crystals and stuff, it'll be a lot faster. So we can do that. We can do that. And if we set up any more, we have some extras, which I'll just keep in my backpack. Nice. Yeah. Bunch of things that we might need. Um, the nether stars we actually don't need in our backpack, so we can let them be free um, and used up in our network. How does that sound? Perfect, I think. <laughs> so yeah, once again, this system still doesn't work. Um, I'm going to watch some more videos uh, in between episodes and stuff to try and figure out and try and come back with another attempt. But also I need to figure out uh, what else we're going to do for some videos. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.